What's up guys, back for another video. Um, you know, we, we, get, we, we just built up the Colt bike, built up the S&M BMX, and I uh, just wanna give you guys a, a, a preview of what's next. Um, and really what got us into, into BMX was uh, my interest in um, putting together uh, some old school bikes. And uh, my daughter had a GT Performer, high tensile steel BMX, and I found um, online a, a Dyno Air that was in pretty rough shape. Um, you know, and, and I, it sucks. I didn't even take any pictures of it when I got it, but it was a Purple Rain Dyno Air, probably 1995 to 97, somewhere in there. Uh, but I got the frame and then uh, found a, a GT Pro Performer frame here locally. And so I went and picked that up and that was a, a chromed out uh, GT Pro Performer from 97. Um, so I brought those home and um, took them out to the powder coater and got uh, the dyno frame powder coated and got the GT frame powder coated. So I'll give you guys a glimpse and uh, all the parts that we've got and what we plan on doing to build. I'll probably start building those tonight. Um, but uh, here, check these, these, these out guys. Um, I'll show you what these are, are looking like. All right, so here's both of the frames. We'll check these out. So we did the Dyno Air in translucent um, uh, purple. Or I, think, I don't think that's actually what it's called. It's a, it's a dynamic purple color. It really has some sparkle in it uh, when, the, um, when the sunlight hits it. Uh, I'll have to look up what the actual purple color is, but pretty sweet. So we got the bars. These bars are actually S&M bars. Um, frame didn't come with any bars so we we took some S&M bars that were black and got them powder coated purple um, but you can kind of see uh, the bike here it looks pretty great you can see the dyno uh, stamp still there unfortunately the serial number on it um, was already grinded down pretty pretty badly so there's only a light faint view of that uh, but you can see the stamping there. The stamping is also still on. If Lucy get out of the way, you can see the stamping there um, on the uh, on the frame stander, which is really really cool. Uh, so pretty excited about that. And then it didn't come with forks, so I found uh, some Dino um, forks. But you can see the the stamping there. Um, and this is a this is a threaded uh, headset. Or a, a threaded fork because um, that's kind of the uh, the original dyno was threaded so I found some a set of th dyno threaded forks so that's pretty cool and then from a GT standpoint this is it this is the GT Pro Performer um, it looks great I, I wanted to do it in white you can see the GT stamping there the GT stamping at the, at the end there which is great um, same for this one serial numbers not wasn't really visible when I got it uh, so unfortunately that's gone um, I think unless it was on the dropouts no it's not uh, sometimes they put it on the down tube as well but I don't see it but again, this is a GT Pro Performer. Uh, I think it's in 1997. He did a great job of sanding this down and cleaning this up. And then uh, the powder coat job is, is tremendous. Shout out to uh, JC Powder Coaters in, in Apex slash New Hill. Um, here's what's really cool too. You guys might be familiar with these. These are the famous Pac-Man forks with the 990 brakes and this is a threadless headset or threadless um, headset and fork um, looking good though you can see the GT stamping right there looking good and on this side as well um, didn't have handlebars for this one so we went with uh, uh, these handlebars are called the lowrider handlebars which I think look pretty good um, I did have the original sprocket on the dyno, so I got that cleaned up. Um, you can sort of see the GT stamping there from the dyno air. 
Um, and then this is the original GT sprocket on the on the Pro Performer, but there's no stamping on it. There never was. It just had a sticker on it. I did find some stickers and plan on uh, going with uh, a few stickers. Um, sticker kits for the Pro Performer and the Dino Air. Uh, here's kind of the parts. We're going to do a, a white and blue theme. So we got a D Dominator seat. Dominator white uh, blue seat for that one. Went with um, some blue pedals. These are Thermalites. Stolen Thermalites. Got a really cool GT laid back chrome uh, seat post. Going with a GT front load stem. Salt BMX clamp. Colt Vans blue with the flange, like old school uh, grips. Um, going with the Odyssey uh, Springfield brake set. Some tubes, going with a white wall. Uh, tires, Speedball 2.10 by s and And then from a, uh, a rim perspective, uh, our wheel, these are called, these are by JBL Bikes, Wheelmaster. Pretty affordable wheel I found out on, on Amazon, or excuse me, not on Amazon, out on uh, uh, eBay. Same with this one here. Weinman, if you guys can see that. And this is gonna be a, a free wheel. Uh, we got the ACS single speed free wheel. We have an Odyssey gyro we'll be installing. Got some Odyssey uh, wheel tape, BSD chain. Salt BMX three-piece crank set with the American bottom bracket as well as included in there. Headsets around here somewhere. I'm trying to, I don't know what I did with it. But I know I bought a headset for it. I'll have to find it. Uh, what else we got? For, for the Dino Air, doing a set of Colony tires in purple. We've got some demolition purple pedals, Continental tires, Vans Colt grips in purple, another freewheel, a white, we're doing a white and purple view on this, Dominator seat, uh, again got the ACS freewheel, here it is, this is the headset we're using for the blue bike, ACS main drive, threadless um, headset, this one's going on the GT, it's blue, Match up with that. Got a KMC purple chain, salt C clamp. Lucy just wants to be in this video. Don't you, girl? Odyssey um, 1999 brake set, kind of old school look for the dyno. Because that doesn't have 990s mounted. There, old school style. Uh, salt three piece crank set with the American bottom bracket. Uh, drain pipe seat post, which you typically see on a Dino Air. Um, traditional headset by Haro. Um, some Neural Pro axle pegs the rear and then this is a black ops uh, top load stem uh, threaded with the, uh, the front brake hole so you can run that down through the frame and then big ticket item for this project which you guys will probably be pretty excited about that's right and these are the real thing tough wheel twos Mag wheels in white. It's gonna go on the uh, the Dino Air. Gosh, that's gonna look good, guys. Look at that. 
that is gonna look hellacious cool. Can't wait to get to the build. Um, both of them will be uh, freewheel rims. And um, probably gonna jump on that build today. I could, I could technically probably build these out both today, but we'll see if I have time. All right, guys, tune in for the build. <laughs> 